Tachfas are annoying enough as it is for a human to solve. They frustrate us when logging in to websites. If we are smart as humans, then how can robots solve the catfa? Well, today we are going to dive into how we can solve these in Automation Anywhere Bots with three different types of methods. So before we get into that, let's take a brief look at catchfers, what they do and how they don't actually prevent bots from accessing a website. They were created to originally determine if someone is human. One of the first types was from Google, where you were given two words, which were images of text or something out of book, and you had to type them in. Little did most people know that you were actually digitizing books for Google and also training a Google machine learning algorithm to recognize text. What they did is they gave you one word with an image that it knew what the word was and another image where it didn't know what the word was. So it could take all the results from all the people typing those words, then get the average and know what the word was in an unknown image. Now you usually see ones where you have to select items from an image, for example, traffic lights in an image. This is also training Google's machine learning models to recognize objects. Google provide a lot of free services, but they always are getting a benefit out of it somehow. As they say, there is no such thing as a free lunch. And the funny thing is that Google done a test in 2014 themselves to solve catchfers with a machine learning algorithm. The humans in that test got it right 33% of the time. Have a guess at how many times the bot got it right. Not 90%, not 95, not 99, but the machine learning algorithm got it right 99.8% of the time. So how can we have our bots solve these catchers? The first one is with our machine learning algorithm also, which is a Chrome plugin, which will automatically solve it for you. The second one is human solving it for very cheap. This is also a Chrome plugin and it costs less than $1 per 1000 catchers solved. And what it does is it will send off the catcher to someone actually manually typing it in where labor is cheap in a different country usually. And they'll send back the results and have your browser automatically solve it all with the one Chrome plugin. And finally, checking in with the website owner. Sometimes if you have a commercial relationship with a website owner, they might have an admin panel where you can disable the catch for check, or it can be manually disabled on certain accounts by the owner of the website. So without further ado, let's look at points one and two and how we can set up our bots to solve these in UiPath automatically. First of all, Google kindly provides a website to test catch up. I've opened it up in Chrome incognito because once you complete it, it remembers your browser and won't ask you to solve the puzzle again. However, if you open it up in incognito, in a new window, once you've solved it, you can test it out again so it can actually test our bots, solve it successfully. So we can see here, if we click on not a robot, it poses us with a challenge and funnily enough, it was a traffic light one. So we need to click the traffic lights continue and there's also an audio button down here to actually play a sound and put in the words you enter, which is going to be the way our first approach solves it using a Chrome plugin with machine learning to actually recognize the audio and automatically type it in for us. So if you go to the Chrome extension store, there's an extension called Buster Cat for Solver for Humans. You can install this in Chrome and what it's going to do is you'll now notice there's this little icon of an orange head and a tick there. If you click on that, it's going to automatically solve the catch for for us. So let's demo it and then take a look at implementing it in UiPath. So going back to the demo website, all we need to do is click I'm not a robot. We'll go back to the image. And now if we click this little icon here, I'm not touching my computer at all. It's going to automatically solve it and tick it. So it's verified that we are not a robot without having to type in anything or actually have a human solve it. Implementing it in automation anywhere is really straightforward. 
So to make Automation Anywhere solve the Caterpillar, we're using the Community Edition and whatever edition you use, it's super simple. All we need to do here is within our bot is go start recording. And I already have a window open with the Recatifer demo and the extension installed to solve it for us using machine learning. So we're going to select the window Recatifer demo. We can see we've got it here using a universal recorder. And all we need to do is click on I'm not a robot. When the challenge loads up, click on this icon via the extension to solve it. And it's going to take a second or two and automatically solve it for us. So we can see that's finished. We can finish our recording. What we can do is just jump back to that page. Let's refresh it and run our bot to make sure it can solve it. So we'll go run. And we can see the bot will click on I'm not a robot. Click on the button to solve the capture. And it's all been solved by the bot. So super simple to add to automation anywhere. The next one is this website anti-capture. And what it is, is it's a Chrome extension you install. And what happens is it will actually send off the capture problem to actual people who are working to solve in countries such as India, Pakistan, and Vietnam. You can see here on average, it takes 16 seconds to solve and it has a 1% error rate. So quite good. So if you want to use this, you'll need to sign up to the website to actually install the extension and get an account to use it. And they give you 15 that you can solve for free to actually test it out. So I have went ahead and actually installed it already. And the installation is a bit more manual because Google has actually removed the extension from the Chrome Web Store. Funnily enough, Google don't want you automatically solving these. So to install it, I installed it manually from a CRX file went to these installation instructions. I had to download this reg file, which will download this registry file here, run that on Windows, restart the computer. And then once that's restarted, you actually need to download the extension manually. And what will happen is it will download this CRX file here. And once that's downloaded, you need to go to Chrome colon slash slash extensions, enable developer mode in the top right. And then you can actually drag and drop this file from Explorer into Chrome and that will install it. Once that's installed, you need to go to details, enable it. And then from the extensions, we can actually click on it and you'll need to put an API key in here, which will be in your email address when you signed up. And once that's done, you're ready to go. So let's test out this extension in Chrome now that we have it installed and then look at how we can implement Automation it. Automation anywhere. So all we need to do is go to that test website again. And you'll see here, we've got this anti-capture. And what it's going to do, as soon as we load the website, it will automatically solve it for us. So we don't need to click any buttons whatsoever. Remember the average time to solve was about 16 seconds. So do give it a moment and we can see it's been solved here for us automatically. Really easy. So how can we use this in automation anywhere? And it's super easy to implement. All we need to do is add an action, which is going to open a browser to a website that has a catch file. So let's do open. Let's put in the Google demo page, which is this link here, which is google.com slash recatcher slash API to slash demo. And we're going to open that in a new window. And with that done, we'll also need to change the default browser to Chrome because the extension is installed in Chrome. Hit save then hit run. You can see it opens up here. We have this anti-catcher under it. The solving is in process and this can take about 15 to 20 seconds because it's actually sent it off to a real person to solve it, send back the solution to us and the solution will be inputted by the extension automatically. So let's just give it a second to solve using automation anywhere. And we can see here, it's now been solved. 
So really simple. You don't need to do anything extra with your bots at all with this one. It will automatically handle it for you. So which method should you use? First of all, I would use number three for any catchphrase if possible. If you can bypass it, even better. You don't need to worry about automating it at all. Currently, the machine learning works pretty well. However, Google are always updating these to combat bots being able to solve them. So that may break from time to time. Whereas option two, if a human solves it, you know if Google updates it, they're still going to be able to solve it immediately. So what I would recommend is you implement option one with a machine learning plugin since that's free. And then if that fails to solve the catch for, say two or three times, then you can have option two in the same bot as a backup. So you've got the best of both worlds. Anyways, until next time, if this helped you out, please remember to like and subscribe. See you later.